Church of East Africa. They are here in their numbers. <laughs> the president only lacks a membership number. <laughs> so by extension, he is also our member. The deputy president is our member through Kirimara West Presbytery. And the rest, you'll be told where they belong. You see some even are wearing the Umas Guild followers headscarf. <laughs> I, also see, I also see Honorable Kengara with a PCMF jacket. <laughs> and of course, you know that Honorable Ishongwa is member number 39. <laughs> I don't know whether there's anyone else wearing a uniform so that I don't miss out. Is Honorable uh, Kagushi a lady wearing a PCMF uniform? <laughs> he almost got it. Uh, well, so, uh, Your Excellency, the President, we are part of your government in a big way because we pray for the government, we pray for the leadership as ordered by our, our Holy Scripture. So we pray for you wherever two or three are assembled in PCA, they never conclude their prayers without praying for the government, praying for the president, adoring leadership. All these people are also voters. They participated in the last, last elections which you won. <laughs> and I'm sure majority voted for you. So you can be sure you are home when you come here. When you fight time, please come and be with us. We know your contribution to the support of this church. We know the role you played when we were getting the charter of our university. We know the role you have played to help us get land that we lost in West Rads. We haven't got it yet, but we know that you understand that story. When we mentioned it to you, you said, I know that piece of land. So we are sure that soon we'll get our piece of land back. <laughs> you have supported our university in a very big way. You have supported our Mirere Hotel. And even this morning as we conversed, you were keen to know how things are going. And I heard you, you know, instructing your readers to follow up on that matter and brief you at the appropriate time. We are thankful to God that we are now enjoying, enjoying political stability. There was a time Madamano was all over, and our, one, our very own, was wearing a sufuria. <laughs> Elder Kioni. <laughs> he is a very good member. So we know that... Uh, You have worked hard to bring tranquility in the country. Out of um, Nadiko, now there is peace in the country, business is ongoing, and uh, farmers are doing their work. We are also happy that uh, you are looking for a job for the former prime minister. <laughs> At the continental level, that is true statesmanship. For someone who contested a position with you, and then that reconciliation has happened. We also thank your deputy president, who is our member, for the many things that he has done to the church in, in terms of uh, projects, uh, programs. And we're also happy about the reconciliation he's doing uh, in the country. Once again, we assure you of our support. You talked about fake fertilizer yesterday. And you ordered that farmers who suffered that be compensated. <laughs> we had prepared to challenge you on that matter. <laughs> now you are safe. <laughs> and we also are aware that uh, there are Kenya Bureau of Standards quality assurance officers who have been interdicted over that matter. There have been several scandals in this country even before you came to office and they need to be met with the decisive force. 
because corruption has impoverished this country, and therefore those who engage in corruption must be taken through the, the, the root of law and dealt with. We still remember there were people who were called COVID billionaires. They made money, and they were never, we have never heard of anything since those days. As a church, we have four pillars. One is spirituality, preaching the word of God. We also take care of medical care, or health of our people, and even those who are not our members. We are concerned with education. You may know that we are sponsors of Alliance High School, co-sponsors co with other denominations, but we own Alliance Girls High School as a school that we sponsor. Among others, we have a Presbyterian University, which we know you understand very well. Our hospitals have a challenge in regard to NHIF because remittances have not come in time. And therefore, the hospitals are, serving, are suffering budgetary constraints. We would wish that your government would help us in that area. We also know that uh, there have been cha a challenge of budgetary, particularly in the North Rift, and Baringo has been very much affected with families now being lavished by the rains because they left their homes. We know you have done good, but much more needs to be done in regard to putting to an end budgetary. The youth. The youth are a big percentage of our population. Many are not in gainful employment, and therefore some are falling into drugs and substance abuse. We as a church are doing everything possible to help the youth, and we appreciate what the government is doing, and we would wish the government to do more in regard to our youth. Something else not necessarily by government is motor accidents. We have lost far too many people on the road because of poor road use. The pedestrians, the cyclists, anybody who is, everybody who uses the road is not responsible. May the government put its best foot forward in regard to that, even as we also take up our place in uh, improving on load security and safety. The cost of living is still very high, and therefore we would pray that you look, and your government look at some of the taxes, see which one you can waive, And which ones you can scrap? <laughs> because it's a heavy burden on the people, particularly in these challenging times. We, we know of your contribution in the agriculture industry. No wonder when something went wrong in that sector, you were quick to make a remark about it. We do not want to tire you with long speeches because we we look forward to coming to you and praying with you first as leaders on behalf of the people and presenting the needs that we have not been able to present to you. And we know that you have a listening ear. Therefore, when an opportunity arises and uh, you see us allowed state house, please allow us to come in. <laughs> we'll come with a Bible and share scripture. Do we know? <laughs> your love for the Bible, and uh, we will sing a hymn, and we have a style of singing. We are Scottish. Uh, we don't dance too much. We are Scottish. So we'll sing a hymn, and then at the end, uh, present our petitions, but eventually we'll pray for you and your government. So we are glad that you have taken time to be with us. As I said, I do not want to take up most of your time because I know we shall have openings in the days ahead. Once again, our Deputy President, we are happy that when we met you, a few of us, you agreed to graciously take our invitation letter to His Excellency the President, and the diary was booked, and here you are, both of you, to honor our assembly. So with those remarks, I want to invite the Deputy President to come and take the podium so that he can do the rest of the protocols. Thank you.
Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Samuel Ruto, the moderator of the 24th General Assembly.